Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I want to talk about the movie The Visit. So this one is a strange one, but let me start off by saying that it was really overly hyped in Australia um, and especially on YouTube. Actually, every single ad that I've watched before a YouTube video in the last month has had the visit trailer on it and I got pretty sick of it pretty fast so when it came out I was actually pretty hyped to go see it so advertising it works but instead of going to the cinema solo like I've done before uh, if you want to see my video of when I went and saw the gallows by myself I have like a, a live reaction when I went into the movies by myself you can see it here um, I actually joined on to my friend James and his mother Heather actually invited me hello Heather if you're watching this, uh, I know you watch some of my videos because she loves horror. So thank you very much if you're watching. Uh, the movie was completely different to what it was advertised like. Once again, trailers misleading. This time, not really in a bad way, um, but it might be for some people who are looking for an actual scare. This movie is not a horror movie. This is like a hybrid, one of those comedy, horror, thriller dramas and it actually has a pretty soft ending. But overall, it's not actually a horror. It just has some really, really dark parts and it actually has some jump scares. But if you were to tally up uh, the minutes of comedy versus the minutes of drama versus the minutes of horror slash thriller, uh, comedy would outweigh them all. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. What I felt like the film was trying to do was lower you into a false sense of security with the comedy and the lightheartedness and then drill you with some like jump scares and some really scary parts. So a quick rundown on what the film is actually about. It's about two kids, like a brother and a sister, and they go to stay with their estranged grandparents. So their mother does not talk to their grandparents anymore and they go and stay with them and meet them for the first time. And the girl is actually doing a documentary. She's really into film and film studies, I guess, and she wants to do a documentary on meeting her grandparents for the first time and figure out some family parts, like why they don't talk. So it is a found footage and it's pretty much founded on the fact that they're filming it all for this documentary. So the comedy part comes in with the little brother who is I would want to say he's probably the character that made the film. Even though he brought the comedy, he brought a, such a different aspect and the kid is just an amazing actor. He really draws you in and he just makes the movie. For me, he was like the highlight point. So this kid, he is like a little white boy and he's into rap and gangster and uh, saying bitches and hoes and rapping about them. And he totally brings a different element into horror movies that you haven't seen before, which I thought was interesting. And the sister in this one totally brings a different aspect as well. Uh, through her documentary she explains certain aspects that you wouldn't understand otherwise. Um, she also wraps it around really cleverly and it's written in a certain way that it's meant to be kind of like a, a packaged box for you to, to keep. So what she does is she talks about certain things she doesn't like in films. She doesn't like a sappy ending. She doesn't like this. She doesn't like that. She also talks about music that she's going to use within her movie and these are all aspects that actually play out in real life. So during a really epic scene the music that she was going to use in the documentary is actually used in the film um, and then there is actually a sappy ending. I'm not ruining anything, trust me, uh, but it does come out and it kind of wraps around really cleverly. And I know some of you guys are really into writing, so this would be a perfect movie to kind of study because it's written really, really well and the scripting and the dialogue and just the overall story structure is perfect. And it's definitely something that you would want to draw ideas or inspiration from. To tell you the truth, when I first saw this, I was on the fence whether I liked it or not but I am 100% sure now that I really did like it. I just don't like it as a horror movie and I refuse to think it is a horror movie. It's kind of like a thriller. If you see movies like Hide and Seek or even um, Sixth Sense, they're not considered horror movies. So I don't know why looking at those films, why this movie wouldn't be considered just a thriller or a drama thriller. Uh, it was really good, really different and I think you guys should check it out regardless. It is a good movie, it just might not scare you. Personal score, I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Scare score, I'm gonna give it a three and originality I'm gonna give it a seven. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Stay spooky. Bye.